Okay. We got some rat bait. Rat bait in the attic, and then we got some mouse dookie here. That's some mouse dookie. We sure do. I'm gonna talk about. It. We've probably already talked about that. We're in the air conditioning section. This is a nice little closet to the west bedroom. Cedar. Check it out. We want to know. Airtight, because we have mechanical closets up here. Uh, mechanicals up here in the attic. Okay. This is the downstairs indoor air handler. You come up, and this is for both of them. Can you see that? <laughs> you just pull it 20 by 25 by 4, both of them. 20 by 25 by 4. Installed 11, 12, 2018. So think that's going to be dirty? 1920, wrong, going on to 21. Every 6 to 12 months, that's what it says. I like to change mine a little sooner than that, but I never do. We're missing some insulation over here. Well, that's another, that's another story. Okay, our air duct is not supposed to have more than half an inch sag in it. I suppose I have more than half an inch sag. There's another one for us. The bathroom vent pipe is uh, venting directly into the attic. And... Okay. Cool it, bud. Our flues are properly supported. We do not have care and use manuals. Our primary drain lines are commingled and they can be. Some people think that they can't, but that's they wouldn't be correct. Safety pans, emergency safety switches, I call them float switches. Nobody ever said I was wrong. Two birds with one stone. This is a PEX gas system. It's not electrically bonded. This is dangerous. It's pure and simple. Now, having said that, your manifold isn't secured, it's floating. They're not supposed to float. They're not supposed to float like that at all. And then the jackets, you see this, uh, the protective jackets, the yellow jackets, they're cut back too far. Well, he was in a hurry today, wasn't he? Woo! Meet you at the beer store. Hey, Jody, man, you're so fast. Let's cut back. Now, this is the only one, not the other two, not the other uh, indoor handler, not the other furnace. Not the other water heaters, not the water heaters. This is the only connection that I've seen was actually secured. Not even the manifold is secured. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. So these units, 2010, we're 21, 11 years old. So they're in the second, last third of an estimated 14 year service life average. You may get more, you might get more mileage out of your HVAC system. You might get more than that. I got more out of mine, so if you take care of it, it'll take care of you. We got air leaks around the plenums here. I got a nice infrared image of that for you. Nice infrared image. Check the report. Okay, like when you're facing the unit, on both of them, the air filter's on the right. Air filter's on the right. Let's just duck down through here. You're supposed to have an unobstructed 24-inch path. We got electric cables here. We got the drain line here. This is not unobstructed, except that we got another door over here. So you, we do have an unobstructed path. They just do not share the same unobstructed path. And um, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient for your home inspector, technician too, because technicians probably not would rather not go down the hall the end of the bedroom into the closet and come over here and then go back into the closet go in the hall come back around and come back right here probably was not you know what he'd probably just crawl under it like I did over here a lot of things are the same vent pipe secured we do not have a care and use manual same size air filter right here on the right they're always on the right both of these are on the right, not always, but these are on the right. We have a safety pan for an updraft system. For, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. We do not have the P-trap. 
we do not have on either one of these, excuse me, uh, we do not have a sediment trap. Uh, see these gas lines? Those are sediment traps on the water heaters. Uh, we do not have sediment traps on, on our furnaces. And then this one, look at that. Your service, that's not secure. That's not secure. I highly, I very, very highly recommend that you get the CSST sorted out before taking possession of the property. I mean, that's, it's just your life. Now, I understand this house is like 96 or something. I understand that it hasn't blowed up yet. I understand that. I understand all that. But I'm a hypocrite about a lot of things. But I'd get my CSST straightened out. I certainly would. All, they, all you have to do is secure it and uh, bond it electrically. And, you know, whatever else the electrician uh, or the plumber tells you to do. But, but basically, I mean, you're, you're not that far off. You're not that far off. 